I, I would like to invite Professor Isabel Riel, uh, who is the director of the Prairie. Uh, the Prairie was mentioned already uh, uh, at the uh, uh, beginning as one of uh, the very visible outcomes of the implementation of the French uh, National Strategy on a AI. Uh, Professor Riel, or Director Riel, has been, she has been very active in uh, in creating links between research and innovation, and as well in defining the priorities of the innovation policies in France. Madam Director, you have the floor. Thank you. So, uh, thank you for inviting me here, and I will uh, I will try to show you an example of what uh, Fabien Levoyer has mentioned earlier. That is to say, one of the institutes that has been created. Uh, so there were four, he has already mentioned them. We are the one in Paris. And our goal from the very beginning was to become a recognized leader in AI research and education with a true socioeconomic socio impact. So I'm sorry, my slide, I have probably too many texts for the size of the screen, but uh, I will try to, to read a few things. So our strategy is to, to, uh, to focus on excellence in research and education and we really believe that you cannot have good innovation without good research. And you need to, have to bring all together all these talents from academia, from industry, and international partners, as, as we will see. So the, the idea was really to create a virtual, a virtual circle between what's so-called fundamental research and also collaboration with industry and application to get new problems, new data, new ideas, and impact. So who, we are, wha, who are we? Uh, so I wanted just to show that this is an organized institute with committee and so on, but everything is linked, and all the relations with, within people are very informal. So we were uh, created by five academic institutions, CNRS, CINOIA, uh, Institut Pasteur and two universities, PSL University and University Paris City. We have a large number of industry that uh, are members of the club, so they are not only in the ecosystem, they are really helping us with problems and so on, and also because they give grant to the institute, so uh, a large part of the budget of the institute comes from them. So. They are not uh, on one topics, very, very various, and you have here uh, Valeo and Neverlabs that are some of our partners you will see today. And all these people are linked together and discuss, and the core of the institute is research. So researcher, all the ch we have chairs. So excellence to choose researcher is not a criteria if you see one by one with number, it's very difficult. Can you rely on ancient X or not? It's not a big deal. We just consider the thing in the mean. So we have uh, people with very high score, a lot of price, a lot of citation and so on, with uh, a mean of uh, more than six, 16,000 citation by uh, researcher, including the young one. So we have people uh, 48 share working on a lot of topics. We, co we do not cover all the topics because it depends on the researcher we, they, they want to join us. We have machine learning optimization, agent, uh, network data management, cognition, computer vision, and so on. Uh, but also a lot of application in biology and medicine with medical imaging, clinical decision support, genetics, genetics genomics, and so on. And we are op open to SSH. We don't have any chair dedicated to ethics or law or something, but we are trying to create a project and community, and we hope that we will have soon people in this field. We have application fields for health, transportation, environment, but not only. And as everybody, we focus on diversity and try to involve people from everywhere, uh, boys and girls, and so on. A few highlights uh, on research uh, results. We have people working in various domains. So uh, funny things, we have uh, Tristan Gaznav and one of his postdocs, Quentin, have won the, in, in uh, 21 uh, 11 gold medals to the Computer Olympiad with the same algorithm. 
this was the first time it was uh, occurring with the reinforcement learning. Uh, we had uh, last year uh, 33 papers at NORIPS with uh, one outstanding paper award and the Test of Time award to Francis Back. Uh, we have also people working on uh, things about environment. You see uh, the paper about uh, Alexandre Aspremont and his startup Keros because we have also startups. Uh, people working in uh, medical fields uh, and uh, biological fields with uh, papers in uh, nature and a lot of other funny things. And for example, people working on, um, on uh, uh, NLP um, uh, language, sorry, <laughs> natural language processing. Uh, and uh, Benoit will uh, explain you what is Oscar this afternoon. From the very beginning, we have an international network of partners from everywhere in the world, and especially if you see the first one on the list, the Center for Informatic Robotics and Cybernetics here in Prague. And I, so I show you a, an image of one collaboration from uh, this, uh, this, one example of research from this collaboration. So here you have uh, Joseph Sivic, who will speak later, and uh, Justin Carpentier, with uh, Nicolas Mansart, also from Aniti. Uh, and they, they work on the next generation of uh, learning from robotics. And you have a robot learning to, uh, to do some, uh, not so complicated, but some technical jest, just watching video. So you can imagine in the future that in manufacturing and so on, robots can learn just watching uh, real people doing what they have to do. So our, our goal was to create a community that was more of the, than the sum of its member. And uh, for this, we had to, conv to convince industry groups that they can join us, give us gift, and be part of the ecosystem without anything in return. They don't have any uh, dedicated research and so on, just participating to the community. And to convince the best AI researcher to talk with the industry colleagues and to, little by little, be interested by their problem. The idea was that if you put intelligent people from academ academia in the same rooms and intelligent people from industry, something should happen. So it was a gamble, but it started to work. To work. And uh, with uh, funny things, for example, you have uh, researchers that now consider application of their work in other fields because they discuss with people and find that they can do it. Uh, one was working on a, uh, image, medical imaging for prenatal uh, diagnostic, and she discovers that she has some application in the uh, um, car industry. It's not exactly the same. It's also revealed convergence between um, issues of different sectors, and it's for also fostered discussion between the industry groups themselves. We wanted them to talk with us, but at the end, they, they talk together. So it's nice. So how to build this community? Uh, we have collaboration, working group like uh, other research institutions. We have networking event with industry partners. Everything that is really informal, just invited people to present their problem to other people. Of course, we respond to solicitation, to solicitation from public uh, policy actors when they ask us to come and to explain what we are doing. We have uh, large audience events either on site or on, um, on webinar. Uh, for example, we had uh, 60 people each time for the main event we do for Prairie, so people from industry, academia, and startups. And we organize a discussion between uh, various people. So for example, the last one, you have a few pictures, it's uh, very small. Uh, we had a discussion between uh, Raj Reddy and Yann Lequin. They, are, they both receive a Turing Award for AI, but not the same year. So discussion about the future of AI. Then we had a discussion about uh, how to, um, to be able to use a medical system based on AI in the public health system with uh, people from uh, authority of regulation and a lot of various people. So we are uh, working with our colleague, as mentioned before. So we have a network of three AI with uh, Aniti, Miai, and uh, three AI of, of Côte d'Azur in Nice. So you will uh, heard 
uh, I think uh, I mentioned Benoit Sago, Cordelia Schmidt, Alessandro Rudi from Prairie. You will also uh, hear, um, I, I forgot probably something, but Cecil Castellana, Jerome Bolt from Aniti. I don't, I'm not sure there are people from other places. Um, but we are used to work together and to be part of same uh, groups. We are, uh, Paris, it's also a little, Paris area, it's a little bit special in France because there is a, a very large number of institutions. So we also have a network in Ile-de-France with uh, our partner from Ile-de-France. So Sky, Hi Paris and Data, yeah, and you will hear today or tomorrow François Yvon, I think, from, from this place. And we are also part of European work. <laughs> Um, uh, network with ELIS, uh, and we have a node in Paris uh, from ELIS. So as was mentioned by uh, Ambassador Duterte and also the Deputy Minister, uh, education is a very important part, and for this Prairie cannot have a direct role. We, we are just a, a cooperation between institutions. So Prairie does not deliver diploma. University PSL and University City give it. So what is the role of Prairie? It's a catalyst. We help them to launch something and we provide visibility, researcher, because all the researchers involved in, in a Prairie committed to teach, even the ones who don't have to. Uh, we, we give master grant. We have now a, a part in the building uh, in Paris Santé Campus. And this creates a domino effect, and we were able to, uh, to experiment a lot of things, uh, especially um, with PSL, that is a very uh, small and diverse university, and Paris City for health, because uh, this is a very major actor in uh, health in France. So we, we tried new programs, new things, and for, I will uh, mention two very funny, uh, for me at least. Uh, we create a new, completely new a la carte program for uh, what is so-called Society of Inge uh, Engineers for Car Industry. Because we believe that to, to create new master students is not in-house. We have also to give the opportunity to people to have double um, capabilities. And in industry, they have already people. They have good engineers, good engineers in uh, mechanic, uh, electronics, and so on. And they now need to discuss and to manage teams of data scientists, AI specialists, and so on. So cre we create with them uh, a program to reskill their people. When we finish the first uh, 20 people groups, we, are, we will start the next, the next month the second one. And then the Société Générale, that is a bank, I suppose you know, come to us and say, oh, we want the same for us. So now we have uh, started a, uh, a session for uh, French collaborators. We start last week uh, one for collaborators in East countries, and we will do West countries later. The second uh, very interesting experiment, it's what's called transverse program. So they decided to, um, to create dedicated weeks, and during what weeks a student from all the components of university are invited to follow training dedicated to their specialty. So you have AI for physics, AI for chemical, AI for economics, and so on. And uh, we submit all of this to the second phase on the national strategy on AI mentioned before, and we receive, uh, we were funded, so we will now be part of the second phase. Thank you very much. Thank you.